I think I waited long enough. But let me start with this. New powerful handhelds is coming. And there are some that I try to jump on day one, but others like sort of upgraded versions of the same device, I hold off on because I have to ask myself, does the current one I have given me the results when I look forward to perform? It does. Have I had any issues with my current one? Nah. And is there ideas I have yet discovered that I, that can make my experience just as good as the newer eye candy devices that other reviewers dangled us with? And I'm not down in them. I'm just saying, I have to admit, I fall into it. And I'm hoping I'm not alone here because there is handhelds I definitely got my radar on. But for right now, I can be patient because I still love what I got. And with this new idea, setting up Bazai on my rock ally, I wanted to make sure if there was issues at all, it all has been covered through updates. Like Cyberpunk 2077. I waited to play it because there was a bunch of issues. And by the time I got to PV, it was much more enjoyable for me through the playthrough. And now, Bazai, I think I said that right. I don't know if I said that right. Bazai, ba I don't know. I want to, you know what I'm saying? You guys are correct me in the comments. I'm ready to peep out what everyone's talking about. Let's get started. What is going on, you guys? Your boy, Famous Kid Video Game Entertainment. And before we go any further, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. Click like, subscribe. It's always a big help. Okay, there's a few things I want to get out the way before I jump right up into this. Okay, first of all, this rock ally I'm using is the Z1 Extreme. It was the highest one that when it first came out, you know, it's not the it's not the rock ally X. Okay, it's not that one. Okay, but and also I did upgrade the SSDs up in here. I put a one terabyte up in there, and um, I know that there was been upgrades with two terabytes, but I never changed it out. I just kept it at the one terabyte, which has been working good for me now. Now, another thing this is i don't like to call my videos like a tutorial video it's because i make mistakes you know there's plenty other videos out there that's way better than me okay this is just what i'm doing i i, I just want to just let you know if you guys want to follow if you want to it's up to you and also if you guys know tips and tricks that can make this that that knows process faster and stuff like that please leave it in the comments because the whole point of i when i do these videos is that we all help out each other so we could be able to game up so all right i just want to let y'all know and and let me add another thing um this particular bazite that i'm installing i just want to let you guys know it's it's gonna wipe out everything in my in my system so it me it doesn't matter i'm gonna probably put everything back later on but i just wanted to let you guys know so if you guys want to don't want to lose your windows and stuff like that there are dual boot options if you want to install yours but mine i'm just gonna have it to where i'm turning it on and it's going straight to the steam and it's gonna have like a big steam os like type of experience that's what i wanted so that's up to you if you guys want to follow i just wanted to get that out the way all right all right let's jump in i'm gonna try to explain this the best way i can okay okay so just in case anything happens i just want to make sure i just update everything so i'm just gonna go through all of the necessary steps and i'm just want to update all the stuff so right here i'm in armory crate uh little setup here and i just want to just update everything so i won't have no problem even though the fact is that i'm going to delete everything just in case so i'm gonna use my i'm using my charger so just just so you know i'm using the actual aces yeah aces power supply i'm just gonna go ahead and make sure all that's plugged up so that way you can just tell so it's giving out that turbo all good all right i just want to make sure i'm like on it second all right make sure you go to the little suite to update all the stuff that's needed to be done reason is just because you know i'm making sure all the bios and everything is updated because i'm gonna probably need that bios a little bit later on so i don't want to i don't want to screw nothing up so everything i want to make sure all this stuff is up updated before i shut this thing down okay all right so once you get all that done okay all right let me pause for a bit because there's something i need to explain to you guys about this particular situation okay so right around here when it says this this right here is very very important if you're using the rock ally now unless that you're going to go with dual boot then you might not have no problem because you can boot back to the to the other you know sent to your regular operating system and you'll be you'll be good if you want to boot back to windows that's what i'm trying to say um um what i'm explaining is i'm probably gonna like repeat myself so just just kind of just kind of bear with me as i explain this okay now 
when it comes down to this, make sure you guys understand about the Windows encryption, in, you know, say encryption. So what you, cause like basically your hard drive is gonna be up on lock. It's gonna be on lock and it's, it, and and like when you're trying to install um, Bazite and you, if you don't have this unlocked, you, if you, tr if you're trying to go ahead and install this and try to delete everything, thinking that you're gonna make it through, you're not gonna make it through. Trust me on this, you're not gonna make it through. Let's go to your Windows and then you, as a, as it pops up just in that little search little bar that pops up um before you start installing before you start installing bad side make sure you go to your windows encryption and unlock your microsoft uh account has your encryption keys okay so make sure you're gonna have to log into your your microsoft account and you got to put those keys in to your to your device that you're trying to unlock in this case will probably be your rock ally just look whatever name you gave your rock ally. And once you get through that, that's, it's gonna be a set of series of numbers and stuff like that. Basically the encryption numbers that you have to put in in order to unlock your hard drive. It's gonna use some warnings that you're gonna be faced with threats and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, unlock that thing in order for you to install this. I just wanna give you guys fair warning. Trust me on this. As I'm doing this video, it took a little bit longer than what you didn't, what this video is dotted for. So just let you know, just give you fair warning because you're going to have a hard time if you don't go through those necessary steps. Num warning number two, warning number two, when you get to the blue screen that I'm going to show you later on, if you don't make that selection, it's going to start installing stuff and, and you might not make it to where that it won't be able to, you know what I'm saying, to, to where it's just going to start installing stuff and you might end up skipping some stuff. So make sure that you on point when it comes down to those selections. So be ready to hit those selections of what you need to do. So that way you don't, you don't have any mess ups. All right, let's keep going. You could do a couple of things in order to get to your bios because you got to get to your bios. Okay. All right. So, but first, before I do that, I'm just going to pull out my, my SD card. So I just want to pull that out and put that to the side. I'll get to that later. I might not even be able to get back to this SD card in this particular video. So I might, chances are, I'm just going to come, I'm definitely going to come back to it because that's where all my emulation games is on. So I'm probably going to get back to that. Okay. I'm going to put that to the side and then now we're going to go to this website. All right. All right. So now we have the Bazite website. I just want to show you guys. I'm going to leave links in the description. The one I'm using is the Rock Ally. Okay. So, and make sure you read this because this is very, very important. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, we got to go ahead and push the download up there. We're going to push the download right here and we're going to go down and it's going to select what type of device we're using. Me, I am using the Rock Ally. So we're going to go ahead and hit that one. Once you click that one, then you're going to, it's going to ask you another question. I'm going to use this one, this first one, because the other one is like another one. I'm use this one right there. Then we're going to go ahead and download. Okay. Okay. Once you get it downloaded, you don't, don't unzip it. Okay. That's, that's all it's set up for itself okay now i'm going to go ahead and use my little flash flash drive right here and then what i'm going to do i'm going to pop that in now you know with all my stuff i like to go ahead and clean it up so i'm going to go ahead and uh, just basically format the hard drive fat 32 that's just me so if you don't have to if you don't want to but that's just what i do i always do this <laughs> as no more video i always do, always format my stuff so that way everything is clean 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 so all right so making sure that it's working so now what we're going to do is I like to use Etcher. Okay. I use Etcher. It's just me. There's other, there's other uh, ways. If you want to flash your own, um, SD card or, or USB flash drive, I, but I like using Etcher. Okay. All right. So we got our files, everything set up here. And then now I'm just going to flash it and it's going to take a while because this is a, this is a pretty big file. Okay. So me, I got my got right here. I got me on my little 32 and I'm just ready to flash it. So, Give it a bit, relax, have some coffee, you know, spot your boy on the, uh, on the, on the cup of coffee. Maybe I can, I'll leave links in the description. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and like get this started. Okay. And with the power of editing, it's going to take a while. So uh, I forgot how long it took, but it took a while. So after I got through and, but with you guys, it's not going to take that long. All right. We're all done. All right. Now I'm going to need a few tools so we can set this whole thing up that way we can get, get it going. Okay. Let's hop over here to our, my table. All right. I got my, this, uh, USB type C hub right here, which will be able to plug up to a, um, 
keyboard and mouse and everything else. And it has an extra USB setup. So that way it can actually be able to plug everything in. All right. Now, remember, in order for you to go ahead and get things going, you're going to have to push. OK, when you turn when you turn the device off, as you turn the device off, push that down volume button, hold that down volume button while you're resetting the device. Don't forget that to get to the BIOS. OK, it's down and just power on or if you want to reset it or just power it off completely. But just keep your keep your finger on the down the volume down button. OK, the volume down button as you power it on. The first time I did it, I kind of messed up. But but after a couple of after the second time, I was able to get to here. So I just want to let you know. So once you're here, there's a couple of things you're going to have to do. OK, right here over here up on the side right here, you're going to see the USB and then you're going to see your boot. You're going to see your boot uh, option. So all you got to do is just basically go ahead and just drag it up. You just drag it on up. As soon as you get through, we're going to go over here and we're going to do some changes really, really quickly. OK, now, as I'm doing this, as I'm doing this, I'm just going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. OK, all right. You're going to press Y for the advance. OK, you're going to disable fast boot. OK, you're going to disable secure boot control. You're going to disable it. OK, and then, um, OK, then you can push start or the two little paper looking things. It's going to save and exit. If you did everything right, then you're going to be introduced to this tiny little text here up in the corner and you just got to make a selection. You're going to choose the first one, which is going to be install Bazite. So once you get after that, you're going to be introduced to this page right here. Choose your country, select your region, and then you're going to be right here at this page right here. Now, you remember when I told you earlier about the encryption and the bit locker that let you know to make sure everything's unlocked. Now, I'm going to show you if you did this wrong. OK, <laughs> if you did it wrong, then you're going to be your your page is going to look like this. OK, so after you get through this, going to ask you it's going to ask you your installation destination okay as you click in for here to try to go ahead and wipe everything out now if you do dual boot then you shouldn't have that problem with just other videos out there about doing dual boot and that's up to you but me i'm just gonna wipe everything that's what i was trying to do so if you did it wrong and you didn't eat encrypt it then your page is going to look like this and which means that you're going to have to start over <laughs> which you're going to have to start over because you've got to go back to 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 unlock that encryption and unlock your hard drive i'm just let you know this is a fair warning right here this everything that it, everything that's going on right here this is what i'm doing but if you did it right then you're going to be able to go ahead and reclaim the space and then you're going to be able to move on to the next part and you won't have no problems just let you know now if you did everything right and being able to reclaim that space then we will be at this page right here where it's going to start loading if it's wrong you're going to see an error message right here right from the beginning and it won't go nowhere while this is loading i just wanted to go ahead and give you some tips in case that you have a problem and it just like messes up OK, now what you're going to have to do is go back to your BIOS. OK, go back to your BIOS and you're, you're going to go to advance and start the cloud recovery, start the cloud recovery so it can go ahead and download the windows and everything else to the rock ally. It's going to take hours. I just want to give you that fair warning. This is exactly what I went through and I want to make sure that you guys don't face the same mistakes. So it's I went through the cloud recovery and then after that, once I got to the cloud recovery, then I went ahead and I locked in the windows, did all my stuff set set up and stuff. And it's just simple. I didn't really install anything. But what I did, I went to I went to grab that encryption, unlock my <laughs> unlock my hard drive, and then I went back to this. The USB and also the USB I had to redo the USB. For some reason it, the, the USB my USB didn't read on on my uh the, the handheld. So I wanted to make so I had to, I had made sure I had reflash my USB. You you might not have to but that's just what i did okay i just want to just tell you all this all these tips just in case you just run into these problems because i had those problems as i was installing this now you can get to the blue screen make sure you make your proper selections and then after you make your proper selection making sure that everything the, the words are very very tiny so after that it's gonna go to this black screen and then now it's gonna finally go ahead and start and, and start installing the the, the rest of the stuff that it needs to be it's going to take a bit i would probably say with my video it was more
or like if you ran into some problems and trying to figure this out and trying to get Bazite up because I went through it, <laughs> went through the matrix with this thing, but I finally able to get everything installed on here and it just took a minute. And I know that the fact is, I think that I buy bypass some things that I should have did and by you know saying a few mistakes and as I was getting to this part right here as I'm going right here I actually end up going back and redoing it so I can so I can do it a lot more better so that's what took me a while so what you saw before I went back and actually <laughs> yeah I did that yeah I did I did the whole situation by installing everything and straighten everything out to where it's supposed to be and did the proper selections and everything so that's just me that's just what I did that's the reason why I, I I don't like to call this like a like a tutorial or how to video. These are just necessary like this is mistakes. But after going back, after messing up, after getting everything straight, after doing everything, I finally got to where that I'm going through this installation and I finally got everything going the way I want to. <laughs> so I know I took so much time, you guys. All right, you guys. And I'm going to end it from right here. All right. And if you made it this far, I truly, truly appreciate it, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, you guys. And from gamer to gamer, let's get to the end right here. So you guys get a chance to see that I made it right there. There we go. Thanks for watching.